Time at the beach makes for a great summer day. The water is probably still a little cold for the humans, but some other mammals are having a ball. This is the time when dolphins make their summer trek to the waters of New York Harbor and off the coast of Brooklyn, Queens, and New Jersey. They're being watched from the New York Aquarium. The underwater world comes alive inside. I have been, yes, uh, quite some time ago, and I'm surprised at how different it is since the last time I was here. Yeah. That tunnel where you get a shark's eye view of the ocean, you should see it yourself. Yeah. The sharks are definitely a sight to see, but researchers at the aquarium also listen to the ocean waters outside. Knowledge is power, so the more that we know about the, the abundance of marine wildlife that's right here off the coast, the more we can do to live harmoniously with them. Sarah Trevue is a marine biologist with the Wildlife Conservation Society. She has studied whale sounds and lately has been listening to the dolphins, tracking their trends and behaviors. This is what it sounds like at dinner time. Dolphins create a very specific sound when they're foraging called a foraging buzz. And so basically that, that just tells you via acoustics alone that dolphins are feeding. And so then you can look at that information and compare, you know, when are they feeding, where are they feeding? Um, because feeding is a critical life behavior. It's really important. Everybody has to eat. Um, so yeah, so it, it tells us that very baseline data about how they're using this habitat. They've been recording the dolphins using six underwater microphones. There's anecdotal evidence to support that Maybe there's dolphins that are coming for a long, longer period of time and they're coming um, in large numbers. Uh, and so that does suggest that maybe this, the area is more suitable for use by marine mammals. Uh, but there's a lot left to be done to kind of understand the underlying ecosystem.